So this is my boyfriend, Barry. We met on Tinder just two weeks ago. And yes, we are already dating. Don't judge me. And yes, no babe, we are so in love. And do you want to tell the people how we met? Gaat jij nou nog zeggen? Wie is u? Ze weet op mijn nerves. Zij weet op mijn nerves. Hi guys, I'm Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking about Tinder. It's me having my boyfriend Barry over here. So he's just gonna be here, uh, not talking as always. He likes to give me the silent treatment. It's just a little thing that we do. So a couple of months ago, my two colleagues suggested that I get Tinder for multiple reasons, which we won't get into on this video. And so after a lot of peer pressure, I finally decided to download Tinder and I was shook. So the first thing that we need to discuss on Tinder is people's bios. Like if I must see the bio, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. One more time, I'm going to tell Drake. Because surely this is like plagiarism and you all can't be plagiarizing the exact same sentence. Like I get what you mean, but surely there's a more creative way to say that. Because that is so boring and I'm not going to swipe yes because you sound like literally everyone else on here. The second problem on Tinder is people's pictures. So I don't understand why you on Tinder, I don't know if you're looking for hookups or a relationship, but either way, you're looking to meet people, which is the point. But then your profile picture is a teddy bear. Don't tell him I said It's a teddy bear or it's a car or just some random stuff that makes no sense. So I don't know what you expect me to swipe yes and then, hi dad, this is my boyfriend, Lightning McQueen. Lightning. <laughs> Put at least just one picture of yourself on there so we can all understand and see who you are. Like at least one and then you can have your car and whatever else that you like on there. But I don't know if anyone in the world ever swipes right for someone that doesn't have a single picture of themselves. Or you get people that do the total opposite of that, which is literally on every picture, there's like five or six different people. And I don't have the time to be trying to figure out playing weakest link, seeing which is the common denominator in all the pictures to figure out who you are. I don't have time for that, so I also just swipe no on that. Another thing that I don't understand about Tinder is guys that have pictures with girls on the profile like not even girls like it's me and barry on every single photo so then i don't understand what's going on unless your bio is like hi me and my girlfriend are looking for someone to have fun with i understand why you and your girlfriend's in the picture but other than that it's kind of weird and i'll definitely swipe no because i'm not waiting for some dm telling me i took your man on tinder blah 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 no i'm not trying to do that another dodgy thing about tinder is that people use really old photos on the profile which is so dumb because if you link your instagram to it you can see at the bottom okay picture taken 29 weeks ago picture taken 234 weeks ago which ends up being like a two years ago 2017 2015 picture that you're keeping as your current picture so for me that also was like a bit weird i was chatting to one guy and i was like hey um watch your instagram and i checked his instagram and the pictures that was on his profile was like 2014 2015 pictures of his instagram and then i just stopped chatting because that's weird like what do you look like now like is this even you am i being catfished like what's going on speaking of catfish i almost got catfished on tinder not not actually got catfished because i knew the person personally it's like if i knew barry but then there was a picture of barry and the name was like mark and i was like that's not mark that's barry i know barry barry goes to church with me <laughs> That is not Barry, but I still matched with the person on purpose just to see like if they were gonna initiate a conversation and like see how you're gonna play around this because I know the real person on that photo is Barry and it's not Mark. But yeah, I never ended up chatting to the person and I just unmatched. If you're going to catfish on Tinder, like please be smart about it. There's a there was someone that I swiped past that had like all the pictures. You could see it was like a computer screen and the picture was taken off a computer screen. And fun fact, working in social media and whatnot, if you try and search that image on Google, it won't show up because they took a picture of another screen. 
But if it was the actual picture that I maybe downloaded off the internet and used on the profile and then I searched it, it would show up like on the catfish um, series. But if you take a picture on off a screen or something and I try and search it, I won't find it and then I will think, oh hey, I'm not being catfished when you actually are. So if you're going to be catfishing, don't do that. Like be smart about it and a lot of people catfish with like models like i've seen jeremy meeks on the prison bay obviously i'm jeremy meeks and i blew a bag many bags at least once a day with a different name all the time if you're gonna catfish someone use like a model that has maybe like 10k followers or something you can't be using jeremy meeks and trying to catfish someone like this is stupid and i don't understand why you would want to catfish someone on Tinder, like, surely the conversation goes to, hey, let's meet, and then it's not Jeremy Meeks, it's like Spongebob that shows up. I just gotta act natural. There's actually a couple of people that I know, like, I have them on Facebook, or went to, like, went to school with them, I have them on Facebook, that kind of thing, so I've been following their life, and then I find you on Tinder, and then all of a sudden you're studying at Stanford University, when I know you're working at the panel beating shop at the corner. But it's fine, you know, do you, do you. There's one of the guys that I went to school with. I'm just going to change the country so it's not so obvious who it is. But one of the guys that I went to school with actually said like, I'm from, let's just say, Spain, but I'm in South Africa right now, blah, blah, blah. Trying to sound all exotic and I'm like, you're really not from Spain. Like, we've been to the same school from primary school to high school. Like, you from South Africa. Now you're telling people you're from Spain. But it's like, you know what? Do you, boo, live your best life, whatever you have to do to secure whatever the bag, the goal, I don't know what you're trying to secure, but do your thing. But I can't handle people that lies, so my stuff's pretty straightforward. What you should be careful for out of my experience is that if a guy's profile, he's always smiling like this, or he's just never smiling at all, I'm convinced, like 100% convinced, there's something wrong with these teeth. It's either really skew or he has a gap. I don't know. But if you can't smile on one photo, not even on your Tinder, and if you have your little Instagram that's like linked at the bottom and you're not smiling on your Instagram either, then that's really dodgy. So no. Another thing that's really dodgy is everyone that has the little caption, self-employed. No, there's like a 50% chance that person is actually unemployed. But no, if I'm self-employed, I would rather put the word entrepreneur there or CEO of whatever, my own company or something. I wouldn't put self-employed. It's not convincing. <laughs> it's not convincing at all. So one thing that I do sometimes swipe right for, regardless of obviously the basic, your pictures look really nice kind of thing, is based on your bio. So not like in a sense of, oh, he's a doctor. <laughs> no. So like... If there's other like videographers or photographers, content creators, stuff like that, then I usually swipe right on those ones as well. Um, I met, not in real life, met, uh, matched, let me rather say, with a photographer from Spain. And we were talking about like doing a shoot together, doing that kind of thing. So I kind of use it for, at this point I'm using it more for like work purposes and let's shoot some content, let's do this, let's do that, like let's bounce creative ideas off each other. Or if you have a bio that's not, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, you're like halfway there already. Um, I'll also swipe right if your bio is really interesting, like, I can't give an example off the top of my head, but if your bio is really interesting, I'll also end up swiping right. I almost never, ever, ever swipe right on people that I studied with, or went to school with because that's just weird then what is the point i'm using an app to meet new people but i'm matching and meeting with people i already know so um there was like this jay case probably like three people in total that i went to school with or studied with that i actually swiped right on so the plan was that i was only gonna get tinder for like a couple of hours or a day or like a week max and then i would delete the app and continue with my life once i've proven this point which ended up not being the case because I'm still on there now. I just don't use it as often as I used to. But I have now about in total 100 and... It's not like 200, but somewhere close to 200 um, matches on there. And out of all of those people, I've only met, like in real life, met two of those people. 
one, the first one, the only reason I made up was the first one was because one of my other colleagues knew him and went to school with him and that kind of thing. So I felt like, okay, this is not a weirdo because someone actually knows who this person is. And the second person I didn't know from anywhere or knew anyone that knew him. So he and a couple of friends was here on holiday in Cape Town for like a week or something. And he kept on asking like, can we meet up, can we chill, whatever, whatever. And then I kept on saying like, no, and avoiding it and stuff. And then eventually I was like, you know what, let's just do this. But they were going to leave on the Monday morning. So, and this was like the weekend. So I had no other choice but the Sunday to go and meet with them. So I took a friend with me, Asi, obviously. Um, she went with me and we just chilled with them. Drinking, playing games, listening to music, that kind of thing. Um, till about, I think it was like after one. No, not even that. It was something to two. <laughs> on a Sunday. And it was so fun. But it was after two. Or two, two. On a Sunday. And I had work. The next day. So, we ended up going, chilling there. I got home, but after two, showered, went to sleep. Literally slept for like an hour and a half. And then got up and then the whole days worth of work so i just had like a yolo moment but that was cool other than that like i haven't actually met anyone on there because i'm just a bit hesitant like i don't know i don't uh like i didn't get in the in the first place to meet people anyway so that's like the main reason why i haven't but i would be open to meeting a few more people but we'll see later That's all for this video. Comment down below your Tinder experience. Have you met your boyfriend, fiance, husband on there? Let me know your Tinder stories. If you have any cringe worthy things that you hate about Tinder, also comment that below. And let's keep the conversation going. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so that you can get notifications whenever I post a new video. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or a swipe right. <laughs> You know what I mean, Jelly Bean. And I'll see you guys in the next video.